Automation is a hot topic in UK manufacturing today. I'm here in St Neots at Cambridge Precision where they have invested recently in Mill CNC's automation, their Doosan Cobots. Cambridge Precision is a um, subcontract machine shop essentially. We're a manufacturer of uh, make to print, high quality, high precision prismatic machine components for a wide range of high tech industries. I think our expertise is uh, problem solving. We are an ex extremely good company with a lot of, lot of high skill quality guys working with us and we're very good at problem solving customers' requirements. We partnered up with um, Mill CNC Automation. Um, they, they represent uh, Doosan Cobots in the UK. And um, we needed to try and find uh, a bit more uh, uptime on our spindles. We needed to try and find some more productivity. And we also, we were running short of space. So it was the case of how many more machines can we put into a finite area. Um, we do consider ourselves to be a very forward thinking company leading technology user and we just wanted to make sure that this was part of our serious investment pro programme. Nick, as operations manager here at the company, how involved were you in the purchase of this solution and why was this particular cobot specified? Uh, I was very involved. We, as a team of people, visited Mills uh, and we saw the cobot in operation and we thought that would be ideal for what we need. And why was this particular model, the uh, MO617, selected? Uh, purely and simply because of the length of the arm. It means that we can do a full table of parts in a night. Uh, we did originally go for the smaller one, which had the smaller reach, but had a heavier payload. Um, but we felt with the size components we're working with, uh, length was better than weight. Uh, we've been very pleasantly surprised at just how easy it works. It does exactly what, what it should do, and that is keep things simple, move apart from A to B, and repeats it every time. I want to learn a little bit about the integration as well. How much needs to be done to the Doosan machine in order to get this fully operational? Uh, prior to the Cobot being installed, there's two or three days work on the machine, which means the auto doors, uh, some of the control system needs to be looked at. Um, but to be fair, Mills have got that button now. They've got a team of people and that's all they do. And for you, return on investment, have you been pleasantly surprised at what impact this has had on the company? And if so, what are the main highlights for you? Uh, yeah, it's, um, we were looking at just over a year payback. Um, with the success of the project, uh, how well the machine's running, it ran over Christmas a week and a half with, with no problems whatsoever. Uh, so we now think it'll be about 11 months to get payback. This particular machine that we've got here, which is the Doosan DNM 6700, why was the Cobot selected to go on this particular model? Um, we already had this machine um, running in our main milling workshop across the road. It was our newest machine at the time um, with the five axis table on, basically giving us capability of doing all types of work. And with robots in machine shops, there's often uh, sometimes concerns about the health and safety element, um, how you can cooperate with them as an operator. How does the Doosan Cobot overcome some of those concerns? Um, yes, yeah, so the Doosan Cobot has built-in torque sensors. So if you do happen to be in the way of it while it is moving, it will stop. Um, as you can see, we have no fixed guarding. Um, so that obviously makes, for us, space was an issue, um, which, which doesn't come into play really with this sort of thing. It's enabled us to run seven days a week, 24 hours a day, on mundane, simple tasks that we don't have to actually pay for effectively through labour. We work very closely with Mills. I mean, we've known Mills now for many, many years. We've bought a lot of machine tools from them. So the, the engineers work together, and to be fair, the, in less than a week, the machine tool was up and running and working fine. I think it's opened our eyes. Um, we've in fact uh, recently been down again to Mills to look at more industrial size uh, robots and I think we'll be working with them on future projects going forward. Um, we work with very demanding clients and their expectations are very high and it's paramount for us that we're able to serve our clients the best possible way we can. And this is just part of what we're trying to do. This is our, our progressive nature of our business. We're always trying to think ahead of ourselves and ahead of the game so that we can stay competitive. 